An innovative farming technique is taking root at the College of Agriculture, Science and Education, CASE, in Port Antonio. It is aquaponics, a climate-smart agricultural method that combines aquaculture or fish farming with hydroponics, which is crop production without soil. CASE, a multidisciplinary tertiary institution, is equipped with an impressive aquaponics system. Such a system would allow us to, to demonstrate to students the modern agricultural practices, how you can grow fish and leafy vegetables in the same environment and allow them to, to blossom and flourish. And then the science behind that as well can be studied by the students through our research division and demonstrate that in terms of excellent agricultural practices. The units that you're seeing here, the construction is all done by students. So they participate in the design and are gaining the experience from working with the system. I learned about the symbiotic relationship between plants and fishes, where the fishes' feces produce nutrients for the plants, and in return, the plants filters the water. I'm a plant science student, and I'm getting hands-on experience in my career path, so it's really good for me. Funding for the aquaponics system was provided through the Special Climate Change Adaptation Fund SCAF, administered by the Environmental Foundation of Jamaica on behalf of the Adaptation Program and Financing Mechanism for the Pilot Program for Climate Resilience. APNFM builds the capacity of various communities, enabling them to adapt and become more resilient to climate change. Aquaponics is something great, not just for us as budding agriculturists, but it's great for the environment also in terms of climate smart agriculture. We recognize that farmers are consistently losing crops due to the weather changes. One of the things the aquaponic system allows us to do is to have recirculating water, so it's one constant water supply, and that allows us to grow the plants in a controlled environment. Here at Case, our aquaponic system is operated in two greenhouses. One comprises a 1,400 square foot, one is 1,200 square foot. Our system comprises of four rearing tanks, two sump tanks. Each tank is stocked with 250 fish. However, each tank has a capacity for 500 fish, with an increase in oxygen level in the water. Case has 20 grow beds, 10 in each greenhouse. Each tier is able to hold 250 plants. Both systems are being expanded to have three tiers with expansion from 2,400 square feet to 7,000 square feet, it is estimated that they would be producing 7,000 pounds of lettuce every four weeks. We are presently growing tilapia and we are growing pak choy and lettuce, but we also have success in doing cucumber in the system. Aquaponics has a number of benefits when compared with traditional farming. Crops can be produced year-round in the aquaponic system since it is not affected by regular weather conditions. Traditional farming is usually done in the field, where it's more difficult to control the environment. Aquaponic systems do not consume a lot of energy and use 85 to 90 percent less water than traditional farming. The structure right here is not even an acre and we can produce what somebody is producing on an acre of land right within this structure. We have a thousand gallon tank system that we use and that can be used for two crop cycles. So technically, we're not using a lot of water. We don't have to use chemicals inside here. No harm is being done to the environment whatsoever. It gives you a quick turnover and it's not really labor intensive as going into the field, chopping down the land you determine the rate of which your plant grow when you're in the controlled environment. You're monitoring the nutrients so you know exactly what they're getting in. And it is healthier for you because of the organic operation. We're getting larger plants, we're getting better yield, and we're getting better quality plant in the system. The fish and vegetables produced in the aquaponics project supplement the college's meals program and the surplus is sold to the market. One of our main thrusts is to generate income. So we are supplying some of our agricultural produce to supermarkets and to the different hotel chains. We have also engaged a large enough farmer who plan to, to, to buy our produce, sell it locally, and also they want to do the exportation of the lettuce. We are actually in the process 
of finalizing a contractual arrangement with one of the fast food chains with the hope that we can provide them with 10,000 pounds of lettuce on a given week. That is a hefty task. You're looking at us building out the entire system that we can produce that volume. Plans have been put in place to ensure the sustainability of the aquaponics program. We even have courses that we have designed to support the aquaponics system. We are looking also to offer external certification courses for our external stakeholders, for farmers, for women in agriculture who want to go into aquaponics as a means to sustain their livelihoods. My team, which is mainly male-dominated, they are extremely good examples of how you can make the work equal for both female and male. We're hoping that a lot more females will join because it's an awesome experience. We have about four students who are literally working here on a day-to-day -day basis. And those students are paid by the college for their, their work. Our objective is that once we put the system into full production, those students are earning as they go from what we literally sell from the operations. So we're very confident that that model will work because we're replicating it with other units as well. My experience working at the aquaponics unit, I'm able to pay a fraction out of it towards my tuition and also it helped me to be exposed to the managerial side of the agriculture entity. The aquaponics system has presented its own set of challenges, providing opportunities to learn important lessons. This presently is being used on the solar system, so we have a timer attached to the pump. In Portland, you have a cloudy day for two or three days. Then you would have a down in the solar system, therefore you'll have to have electricity as your backup system. You also have to ensure that your pumps are working and you have a replacement pump every time. The plastic lock-offs were ineffective, so they redesigned them and replaced them with metal lock-off valves. Once we start to dig the tanks, we had several times in which the soil just capsized and we had to again redo the excavation work for the tanks. The materials that we used, we probably could make modification in the material which would cut down our initial costs. The space that we used, we could get a much larger tank which we could increase our fish operation. I would recommend anybody to go into aquaponics. So people who have limited land space and want to have an income plus they want to do their own vegetable, they can do this in their backyard. I think this is demonstrating quite a lot in terms of innovations and the way forward for agriculture, for small farmers and large-scale farmers as well.